Shot Show 2017 at the Kershaw booth. I'm here with Jim again. How are you? Doing good. How are you? Good. It's a good show so far. Only the first day, but I'm having fun. <laughs> exactly. You guys got a ton of knives um, yeah. that are new for 2017, and there's we a couple do. that I want to start with that I think are really cool. So down on this end. Okay. So this year we're doing something we haven't done before. We are doing a collaboration with Almar Knives. Um, so these are two new options. These are the AM3 and the AM4. So these are nice and slim, great little EDC pieces. Um, they're both assisted opening. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking some, some pretty classic designs and we're kind of putting a little Kershaw twist on them. So these are both assisted opening. Uh, they both have satin finish, 8CR13 MOV blades. Okay. Um, they both have this great contoured and shaped G10 handle that's been polished as well. Really classy, really smooth. Full backspacers too. Yep, we've got the red tube spacers, kind of fit in with the theme with Elmar. Yes. And the red Elmar logo on the clip as well. Yes. Um, they both have frame locks, which is kind of where we're coming in and doing our version of things. Okay. Um, with this nicely contoured back handle as well. And these are both flippers, which again is kind of bringing that Kershaw so special sauce to an Elmar design. Yes, exactly. Did so, you say these are U.S. or...? Uh, these, these are imports. These are imports? They're both imported. Okay. Um, so the a AM3 will have an MSRP of $44.99, mm -hmm. and the AM4 will have an MSRP of $49.99. Very cool, guys. Elmar so, from Kershaw, that's awesome. Sweet. Looking forward to that. What else we got? Okay. So next up, we have a new version of an old favorite. This is the 1660 CF, or a carbon fiber leak. Mm. So this knife is, you know, the, the leak has been kind of a, what I would call a modern classic for us. It's, it's really kind of one of the knives we're best known for. It's very popular among our fans. And so we've come out with a version with, with solid carbon fiber scales and a CPM 154 blade. So it's been a really great piece. Um, what's hard to show on camera is how light this is. It's really light, really comfortable. Leaks in general are easy to carry and really nice because they're slim. But this is even lighter and it's got that upgraded blade, right, blade steel. So it's really kind of just a, a great no-brainer kind of knife. Yeah. Um, an MSRP of 139.99. One thirty nine. So, once again, the steel is uh, uh, CPM one fifty four. And so, full carbon fiber on it. Correct. So that's what you're paying for, plus USA right. produced. Yep, USA produced. So it's it's, it's a it's a little bit of an upcharge to a standard leak, but you're getting a lot for your money. And you know the guys that collect leaks, that enjoy leaks, they're not yeah. gonna mind. And as for me, I, I'll probably pick it up at some point because I think I have three leaks already, <laughs> and that's. That's a fourth that I could totally be down with. Yeah. Nice. We got a few other ones down here too. We do. So we're going to move into the USA for, well, we've been in the USA with that last one, but um, a couple new ZT items. This is the new 0460. So this is a Dmitry Sienkiewicz design. It's based on his Poly Chodki Jr. Uh, it's a great piece, really neat knife, really sexy. Um, something really cool about this item is that we have a new carbon fiber that we've been working with our supplier to develop. Um, and it has, it has a material woven into it that we can get a color into. So we have a great bronze coloring to this carbon fiber here. Just for con contrast and comparison. Yeah, the exactly. Leak, you can see that there's a difference in the tone there and in the, uh, the coloring pattern. Yeah, the lighting is a little hard in this room here, but it's, it's it got is. a great bronze hue to it. Um, again, it's got all those wonderful properties of carbon fiber being real stiff and real light. Um, we have a titanium frame lock with partial 3D machining. And it's the same thing on the carbon fiber, just a little bit harder to see. You've got this th same 3D machine patch down here. We have an aluminum backspacer, uh, an S35 VN blade with two-tone finish, mm. stone washed and satin. Nice. Uh, single position pocket clip. Okay. So, sorry lefties, I apologize. We really tried. Um, I am a lefty, so when I when I don't make it left-handed, I'm punishing myself. <laughs> um, but you know, we we've done some great patterns with with Dimitri. He's a great designer. We love working with him. Um, you know, he's from Belarus, and he brings such a wonderful, different kind of style to the table for us. Great. So really excited about that. Yeah, I agree. Great style too. Very interesting look. So. Another really cool piece for this year. 
This is the uh, the ZT055. I'm sorry, 0055. Okay. Um, this is a GTC design. This is by Gustavo Ciccini from Brazil. Okay. Another great micer. Um, Gustavo is, you know, I look at his knives as they're almost like sculptures. I mean, they're just so, so beautiful and so out there. He does so many cool things, things that the average person just doesn't really think about. It's just really fantastic to be able to do a piece with him. This is based on Gus's airborne pattern. It's a really sleek knife um, and lots just packed with cool features. So we have titanium scales, uh, partially 3D machine. We get this really fun texture going on through here. We've got a big oversized pivot with the same style that Gus does with the three grooves. Um, reversible pocket clip. The blade is S35VN, but I don't know if you can see it when I turn this in the light. You have actually a compound grind, which is something we don't do very often at all. Yeah. Almost never. Yeah. And so you get this really high, nice slicer grind in the front, and you get this beefier, lower grind in the back that's just really tough, great for carving on wood and pushing, push cutting, and just this kind of is best of both worlds deal. It's a really neat blade, really very functional. I love the fact that you've got actually the angles kind of changes at that point as well. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. So a really fun blade. Uh, titanium frame lock with a stainless steel insert. We have something we haven't done before. We have a bent titanium clip. So oh. we're not doing a full milled one, okay. but you do have a titanium clip. So those out there like to customize and anodize and do cool things. Oh, that is cool. titanium. You can do some fun stuff with it. It's got a nice flex to it. Works really well. Um, this runs on our KVT washer bearings. But the real big deal with this knife that I haven't discussed yet is that it has Gus's SLT flipper tab. So you can see right here, SLT is literally, it stands for spring-loaded tab. And so what that does is that creates this little piece, like a traditional flipper, but it hides away. So if you think of like on, on some sub guns and things like that, some rifles, they have the, uh, the fold-away charging handle that you, you pull back, you let it go, and it folds forward. It forward, yeah. Yep, exactly, and this works just like that. Yeah. Snaps back down, so then you take it, you pull it back to the full position, and the blade just blasts open with authority. And then where did that little tab go? Folds right there. Right there. Folds right back in, gets out of the way. Yeah. So you have this beautiful uninterrupted profile. It's really comfortable, easy to hold it in lots of grips. Um, you have this gorgeous art knife style. It's really exciting. And an MSRP of $275. So it's just so much bang for your buck in this model. So we're really excited to introduce this. Very nice. Sweet. So, next up we have kind of our other big showstopper for, Z, for ZT this year. This is the model 0850. As you can see, this is a manual opening thumb stud knife. So very smooth, very controlled. I can snap it open or I can open it slowly. Um, we have a great uh, two-tone blade with, with CPM 20 CV. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's it's, it's pretty equivalent to a M390 or a CTS-204P. It's a really nice top-of-the-line, high-end steel. Yep, I like it. Um, we also have that colored carbon fiber that we saw before on the other piece. Um, so this has got a blue hint, to, bl a blue tint to it this time. So it's a, you got the kind of the, yep. Yeah, the blue and the bronze. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's so, the 0850 is based on a, on a design that was a collaboration between Dmitry Sinkevich and Todd Rexford. So Dmitry designed the knife and Todd came in with his magic and did all these cool <laughs> things with the hardware and Todd's just the master of details and Dmitry of course has great lines and a wonderful collaboration. But they only made like two of them. And so they had lots of cool features. Um, including this cylindrical backspacer, um, which gives this knife a really, really unique look and feel. Yeah. Um, and so that cylindrical feel, we've sort of continued into the pivot and to in, into this um, machined aluminum thumb stud, right? uh, thumb stud as well. So really neat, really unique design. Um, the other great thing that we brought in is kind of a, as adding something from the ZT side of things is we've brought in a, titani a titanium subframe lock. Mm -hmm. So this whole knife is actually very light. Again, I, I wish we could help you feel that through the video, but it's so light for how big this is. It is, yeah. We have a machine titanium pocket clip. And the one feature that doesn't really jump out at first is this little bridge here. So you see that the, 
you see the uh, the lock bar kind of juts in a little bit there. And so what's happening is on lots of frame locks, we've, we've heard this a lot from customers that they go to open the knife and their fingers end up on the lock bar and they make it harder to open. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done here is we've created this this little bridge for your fingers to land on. So I can kind of flip that over for a minute. Your fingers just tend to naturally go right there, and then they're not in the way when you go to open the knife. Mm -hmm. Knife opens smoothly, there's no extra resistance. It's really just a nice thing. Very cool. So you, can, you recognize that it's for your fingers because you can see a little groove right there. It's uh, milled out for you. We talked a lot about this, and it's one of those things that you kind of want to just make things natural and intuitive. Yes. And you put a groove here, and your fingers just naturally kind of want to fall into it. Yes, absolutely. I agree. So that was kind of the idea behind it. So really fun knife. Um, MSRP of $400 on this one. Yeah. But it's got so many things going on. So. Yes, it does. Yeah, really Very cool, cool piece. I like it. Let's talk about some nice budget-friendly USA-made stuff. Okay, perfect. So, this is the Dividend Series. So we have two knives. Um, if you're familiar with our 1776 Link, uh, we came out uh, with that recently. Mm -hmm. It was meant to be a budget USA knife. Something new, um, kind of an import fighter, if you will. Yeah. Something to get a USA-made knife in your hands for a price that is comparable to imports. And so, we have the uh, the 1812, which is the dividend here, and so this has has injection molded scales with a nice grippy texture, um, really nice contouring. The knife is remarkably slim, and it's about the size of a leek. So if you really you know you lay these together, they have a sim they have a similar size and feel. Mm -hmm. um, has a reversible pocket clip, 420 HC blade, uh, all made in the USA. Um, great snappy, great snappy speed safe action, and a really nice usable spear point blade. Now the MSRP on this knife is is fifty nine ninety nine, which means at some of those lower street prices you'll see these for like thirty five bucks, and that's just awesome to be able to have a USA product for that kind of price. Exactly, agreed. So you got that in the um, in the molded version, but then you've also got this here. Correct. So something that a lot of our customers have liked about our knives is that we have some of these that are really slim and super pocket friendly. This one actually, the, the plastic one is surprisingly, I mean, you really, for having molded handles, it's actually still really comfortable in the pocket. Mm -hmm. This one's even more so. So this one for an MSRP of $69.99, you spend $10 more, you get machined aluminum scales, and you get the same great 420 HC blade, um, speed safe action, flipper, just a really comfortable, really usable knife. So we're really excited about these. Great new piece for this year. Every time we can get some good USA made stuff that is ergonomic and affordable and, uh, you know, in particular in this range that's very, like you said before, uh, yeah. close to and competing in a way with the leak, it's yeah. I'm sold. Looks like a good knife. Unfortunately, HC, you know, I'll take this stuff or, you know, the standard um, uh, leak steel over that. But it's not bad, and I've used yeah. it a lot. I mean, people forget. You know, we, we get so we get so spoiled and so excited about all the great steels that we have these days. There's nothing wrong with 420 HC. It's a great steel. It's always been a great steel. A lot of manufacturers continue to use it on a large amount of their product line. We just it, it performs well. It's pretty durable. It's it's good. Good stuff. We got a lot of imported stuff over here as well. We do. Yeah, we've got a lot of really cool import items. So we're going to bring a few of these out here. So. This is one that I'm really particularly fond of this year. This is the 1220. It's called the Reverb. Mm -hmm. So this has got kind of a kind of a fun, active feel to it. It's really different. It's kind of skeletonized. It's very lightweight, very small. Um, we have a functional carabiner clip on the back. Um, we also have a pocket clip if you'd like to do that. Works either way. Nice. We have a steel frame lock, HCR 13 MOV blade, um, a gray a gray titanium coating with uh, sanded satin flats. Yeah. Um, just a comfortable, really nice little knife. And an MSRP of $34.99, so really quite affordable. And we see that there is a carbon fiber texture on top of that, which is laying on top of G10. So that is real carbon fiber on top of G10. Yes. So this is a material that we've been using a lot this year. 
It's a uh, it's a G10 with a layer with several layers of carbon fiber on the top side of it. Yeah. And so it gives you the that richness of carbon fiber without the price. Yes. Yes. It also gives you a really fun two tone effect when you machine into it, which you'll see on a few more of these pieces we're going to show you here. Cool. I like that one a lot. Tell me the name of it one more time. Uh, the Reverb. The Reverb. Number, model 1220. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. I love yeah. little um, handy, inexpensive knives like that. Oh, yeah. They're cool. And the MSRP of 35 bucks, so it's hard to go wrong. Mm -hmm. And that tiny little pocket clip on it, too. That was cool. Yeah. I, wasn't, I don't think I noticed that when we were showing it to me before. Yeah, that's so minimal and so cool looking. And just you know, this side alone, even even though the carbon fiber looks really cool, I do like the, the two tone effect on this side as well. Sweet. What else we got? Okay. So next up, this is kind of a fun, simple EDC knife with a great dagger feel to it. Mm. So this is the this is the 3960. It's called the Barstow. Okay. Um, we have molded scales with a G10 texture. We have great blue accents on this, which I think is really fun. We have these blue tube spacers. Yeah, I love it. And then these press fit little blue pieces in the in each side of the blade as well. Just some really fun details. I love it. Um, we have this great double-edged blade. Well, I should say double ground blade. We've only ground one side of it because you know it's not really much fun to push on a <laughs> sharpened edge to close it. Yes. Yeah, sure. But nice, snappy, speed-safe action. Really smooth. Really comfortable knife to carry around. So, cool. Um, this will have an MSRP of thirty-nine ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Next, we have something really cool. This is a, a de new design that we've gotten from Rick Hinderer. Um, those of you who are fans of Rick's knives will recognize this as the MP1, um, but it's a much smaller version. You can see that I've got big hands. It's kind of a three-finger knife, but because of all the way this flows, it's very, very comfortable. And Rick is really big on ergonomics. He's always stressed that his knives have to be comfortable, have to be usable. So this one is no exception. Um, we have stonewash blade, and then the handles are actually a two-tone, where we have black wash and stonewash on the flats. Um, we have a miniature version of Rick's signature clip. Mm -hmm. We have three position carry for this knife, so any of those three positions you can mount the clip. Speed safe assisted opening. And then kind of the elephant in the room here is these extra pieces. And so what we've done is we have a version of Rick's HMBS, which is his hinderer modular backspacer, the hinderer modular backspacer system. Okay. And so what you do here is that you have a little set screw and it comes with an Allen wrench and these three options of backspacers. So you don't have to buy anything special. They come right with the knife and the wrench to do it. Okay. So a little quick twist on that. They slide right out the back. You slide the new one in. Quick twist of the screw and it's all together. So talk so, about the different features of the different backspacers and why you would want to swap them out. So the one that's on the knife right now is a screwdriver. And it's also got a little hole through it so you can put a lanyard through it as well if you'd like. Okay. Um, the standard version here is a is a version with just a lanyard loop. Okay. And then the last version, which should be popular with a lot of people, is this one with the bottle opener. Mm. So. I wonder why that would be popular. Yeah, I can't imagine. So really cool little knife and an MSRP of forty nine ninety five. So you get all this for that price. Now, cool. now I sound like a QVC commercial here. <laughs> Keep it up. We like it. So, next we have a new collaboration with knife maker Jens Anso from Denmark. Um, this is called the Model 1160. Uh, it's a manual action knife, and the, the funny thing about this is, you know, this is one that we've passed around to people around the office. Everyone always assumes it's speed safe, because it opens so power, powerfully and so positively. But this is a manual action knife. It's running on KVT ball bearing washers, okay. and it's just got a great detent. It's really comfortable, opens nicely. And this also has that, that cool uh, G10 with the carbon fiber overlay. Mm -hmm. It's been machined to give you this cool two-tone effect. Nice. Um, we have a reversible pocket clip. Um, we have an inset liner lock, which makes this really slim and comfortable to carry. Um, and we have an 8CR13 MOV blade with a black wash finish. So really comfortable knife, really nice to carry. Uh, we think this is going to do really well this year. Yeah, any great of those, new design. Uh, KVT ball bearing, any of those ball bearing systems, I just love them. Yeah, they, they they make those knives fly out so fast, so smooth, and such a strong, solid lockup, even on something fairly affordable like that. And really consistent. Yeah. From product to product, they feel really good. Cool. What else we got? 
So, two more here. I'm gonna start with this one real quick. Okay. This is the 2460. Um, this is called the Vetter. The what again? The v Vetter. Vetter. Yep. Oh, okay. V-D-D-E-R. Not Vader. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> no. Vader would have been cool. You sure you don't want to change it? Should have had to paint it black then. Yeah. That's good. Shiny black. With some uh, bright red buttons and stuff on it. Yeah, I think somebody was a Pearl Jam fan when they thought of that name. <laughs> um, so, this is a this is another great knife. It's a simple EDC knife, single blade. It's got a really fun design, lots of cool portholes through the blade, different layers, different textures. Um, we have a true, th a true 3D machine G10 overlay over a frame lock build. So nice and stout, but also grippy with that nice texture on the, G on the G10. Mm -hmm. Reversible deep carry pocket clip, lanyard loop, um, just really cool features. And speed safe assisted opening, and this really opens with authority. It's really snappy. Um, great EDC piece. We're really fond of this one. And that'll be 8CR? Yep, 8CR 13 and an MSRP of $59.99. Cool. I like the detail on it. A lot, of, a lot of good aesthetics to that one. And last but not least. Last but not least. This is the 7007. It's called the Natrix with an N. Uh -huh. um, so this is something that, you know, the, the 777, the, uh, the knife that we released in 2011, that one overall knife of the year. Mm -hmm. It's been a popular knife, and it's been one of those knives that we, we still hear about. People always ask us about it. You know, what's, what's going on with that? Do you do anything else with it? And so this year we decided to kind of make a 777 for the people, one that everybody can have. Um, the people's 777. <laughs> I should be careful with my <laughs> metaphors here. But, but it's, a, it's a really neat knife. So this is... Uh, it's got machine G10 handles, um, has an 8CR13 MOV blade, really cool custom pivot hardware with a nice dome to it, uh, speed safe assisted opening, and again it's got a really nice snap to it when it opens. Um, reversible pocket clip with a deep carry, and something we've never done before, we have an imported subframe lock. Interesting. So, for those of you who have wanted to try a subframe lock and maybe have been shied away by the, the high prices, this one's going to be for you. So, $59.99 MSRP, mm. stonewash blade, <clears throat> and really just a fun little EDC knife. Uh, three and a quarter inch blade, really comfortable, great size. Yeah, agreed. Love so, the detail, love the aesthetics, um, great looking pivot on it. I always like it when you can get a nice decorative pivot that doesn't just do the job, but also looks really cool. Yeah. Um, Subframe lock for an inexpensive price, very cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'd love to sit and chat knives all day long with you, man. We're having fun, yeah. but uh, we're going to keep it short-ish. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Jim at the ZT Kershaw Booth Shot Show 2017. Thanks for watching.